Telangana is one of the rare states in India where the urban population is nearly 43%. The country average is about 30%. Telangana is one of those states where urbanization is rapid, which is a good thing if you ask me because urbanization in Telangana or in India is linked to economic activity, is linked to employment opportunities, is linked to a better way of life, is linked to a better standard of living. So therefore, Telangana today, in fact, is the only other state in India, only other state in India, which is a revenue surplus state, other than the other state being Prime Minister Modi's home state of Gujarat. So out of the 29 states in India today, only two states are revenue surplus, that is Gujarat and Telangana. What does it do by way of, give, by, by way of being a revenue surplus state? It gives you the economic buoyancy. It gives you that ability to go out, raise money, borrow money from financial institutions, and go for that expedited growth, expedited infrastructure story, expedited trajectory that we all dream of for India. So having said that, these are other statistics, how many households and uh, what kind of industries. But the most important statistics that I would like you to uh, look at is the compounded annual growth rate. Telangana is growing at a breakneck speed. We're growing at 16.53%. While the country, while the country, India is growing rapidly, Telangana is growing even more rapidly. We, even in terms of IT, the ministry that I represent, while the country grew at about 13% in terms of IT exports out of India, Telangana is growing at 16%. So we are definitely doing a lot better than the national average when it comes to the growth story. Now the other things that uh, I wanted to quickly touch upon, as a new state, like I said, after a protracted struggle, after a battle that uh, took decades, and after a hard-fought battle, now is the time for Telangana leadership to deliver. Therefore, our Honorable Chief Minister, who is a man who comes from the grassroots, is a man who has actually fought his way up in life. Uh, uh, term by term, every day they used to come to a Manati event and teach the lecture lessons of their choice. And uh, they used to take questions from all over uh, uh, Telangana and Andhra Pradesh as well. So now we used to pay these students 1,500 rupees per hour. So this is earn while you learn program, sir. So while their parents are earning about 300 rupees uh, by toiling in the fields, these children, for, by teaching their colleagues, th thousands and thousands of children in the, uh, in the, in the schools, they started earning 1500 rupees uh, per hour and the best lecture at the end of the year as judged by the experts from different fields so we used to get about 20,000 rupees as a cash reward sir i am very happy and then proud to share with you that uh, all the students in the last uh, uh, four years who have uh, taught in this uh, mana tv now tsat have landed in the top notch universities not only in the country sir but in the world as well now uh, so much so that one of the students from vikarabad whose parents are agricultural laborers sir he has been shortlisted to represent uh, our telangana state in uh, harvard crossroads summer program and then these students uh, the, this student has been selected after going through the uh, multiple tests in the country asia and uh, africa sir so out of 250 students, only 40 global leaders have been selected and this student, Anand Kumar, he taught in Mana TV. So like that, Mana TV has had a wonderful impact. Sir, one uh, shortcoming was the parents, it was a kind of exciting day for, the, uh, you know, for them to see their own children teaching in live television. But unfortunately, in those days, we have only received only terminals, ROTs on all our schools. And then we used to call the parents and many of the parents were not able to come because they used to go for cooling.